What's up guys? So Four Season Bros here. Today's video is gonna be how to change the chain case oil in a 1200 cc Fortec engine. It's the Rev XR chassis, but it's the same process as all the other chassis on BRP for the 1200. Just here the some of the solenoids and whatnot are different. Um, so let's get started. The tools you will need is a flathead screwdriver. Phillips screwdriver, a 10 millimeter wrench, your spring puller, and then you'll need a 10 millimeter um, socket as well. And I take a bungee strap just to hold this away when we when we pull that back. The first thing you can start doing is removing your exhaust with your spring puller. I'm in the process of buying a better one. Just have to find out where to buy it though. All right, so technically this should slip out of here. That, look at that, the big exhaust. Don't lose your springs. So there's seven of these black bolts. I won't be able to take all of them off because of the uh, cluster here. Take as much as you can off. As you can see, it started leaking out. There's a hole on the, right on the bottom of the chain case. It's like a uh, metal plate, and there's a hole right in the middle of the metal plate. That's where it's gonna seep out from. Put the bolts where you don't, you won't lose them. Take the drill back. One right here. Right here. All right, I took six off. There's one more in here. Alright, you could take your uh, filler cap off if you want as well because it's going to have to move with that. There's another one hidden in here. There's your fourth bolt from in there. We can disconnect the battery if we really want to. I put my screw back in because I don't want to lose the block that's in the battery. So this is where your bungee strap comes in handy, just to move this out of the way a bit, just like that. And we'll remove the battery as well, just to facilitate your work. Never put your battery in the cement, always put it on something. All right, here's your seventh bolt. There you go. Just take this one bolt off. A 
little copper wire washer there. Don't lose that. Whatever you do. Okay. Now it's a bit looser in the bottom. So just a bit more. I just cracked it open just a bit. Get the excess oil out. All right, guys. All the oil is drained out. I let it drip for about 10 minutes just to be safe on the safe side. Now you can reinstall your bolts. Don't torque it too much. That's good enough. Now we'll put our 10, milli 10 millimeter bolts back on. What I usually do is I thread them on by hand first. If ever you guys have any questions, go we'll write them in the comments and we'll answer as quick as possible. We usually answer the same day. Six. Seven. Here. All right guys, so just before putting your oil in, you don't want to take the, uh, as they call it in the manual, the check plug right here. For the 600s and the 800 cc's, the check plug is here, but for the 900 ace and the 1200 Fortec, the check plug is here. So you're going to want to remove that, it's an Allen key, the size is 3 16 Lightly threaded in there. All right, pour it lightly in between the chain case cover and the gear. All right, so it's coming out now. And what you want to check is here. It's going to come out of here where the check plug is. Check plug is. My French is mixing in a bit. So once that starts coming out of there, stop right away. You don't want to overfill it. You should always use your XPS synthetic gear oil for this. It's recommended for your machines, for the life of your chain case and whatnot. Oh, there it goes. It's coming right out. See right there? Just let it leak. That nice green color. Just let it leak. Because we overfilled it. That's what it's made for. Once it stops, I'll put the uh, plug back in. And then you can put your filler cap back in. Now it has stopped leaking. You can reinstall your check plug. That's it. Now we can go towards the exhaust part. Put your, you take this bungee strap off. Slide this back in. I put this part on first. Filler cap. Make sure it's on right. Wouldn't want the oil to come out of there. All right, that's on. Now we'll have a few bolts put back on.
one. So I put those four bolts on one, two, three, and then there's one right under here. Four. So that's complete. We got the oil in the chain case. Now we can reinstall our battery. Negative on the bottom. All right, just slid on. Exhaust line. This back part here has to slide inside there. And then these pads here are gonna be right in there. You have to make sure they're correct. You wouldn't wanna you wanna start rubbing on this something. Put it in sideways. Might have to pull some plastic a bit. There you go. Lift your exhaust from inside. Slide it in the rubber grommet. Make sure the exhaust passes in the two holes on the bottom. There you go. That's complete. Grab your spring puller. There's one spring. There's another spring. Then the two other springs will go by the front. There you go. Do not forget your ground cable and your positive, or your negative and your positive. All right, that's on. So basically we're done. We just did the oil change in the chain case of a 1200 Ford Tech. This is a 2014. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much guys. Please like and subscribe and check our other videos. Thank you very much.